became known as the Rain Dog. A special t-shirt has been designed by Bartlesville artist Allison West, which depicts Heidi, the Rain Dog, riding in the sidecar with Santa. Now, shirts can be ordered by calling 1-847-2059. Proceeds from the shirt sales will help pay for the next year's event. Palmer is also looking for any video of Heidi in the parade that you might have. She said they don't have any video of Heidi, and it certainly would mean a lot to the Palmers to get some video. So remember, if you do have some video of Heidi, you can call the Palmers through the Examiner Enterprise at 335-8279. And once again, don't forget that the parade begins at 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon, beginning at Research Parking Lot and it will wind down Frank Phillips, ending up at the Westside Community Center. Hope to see you out there. Right now, we'll take a look at the weather for today. The high reached 53, morning low of 24. No precipitation as of 7 this morning, November at 6.58 inches, well above the normal for the month. Pollen today, 1,498. In the forecast from the National Weather Service for tonight, should be clear with the low in the mid-20s. Tomorrow, sunny, a bit warmer. The high should be in the upper 50s. Looking at sports tonight, Bartlesville resident and Phillips Petroleum Company Senior Vice President Charles Bowerman has been named to the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame. Bowerman will be inducted into the hall March 22nd. He played at Alamo High in the mid-50s, averaging over 26 points per game as a senior in 1957. Bowerman had a special relationship with his coach in high school, his father, Tom Bowerman. Charles went on to play at Wabash College, where he averaged over 25 points a game his senior year. He was voted most valuable player three times for the team, and he received honorable mention All-American from the Associated Press. Bowerman played for three years with the Phillips 66ers AAU team. In 1963, he played on the USA team in the World Games, and we'd like to congratulate Charles Bowerman on his induction into the Indiana Hall of Basketball fame. Tyler Wilson of the Bartlesville YMCA wrestling team pinned all three of his opponents, winning the Division I 40-pound championship at the 29th annual Thanksgiving Classic held over the weekend in Bixby. Wilson also won outstanding wrestler honors at that tournament for his performance. Britt Bokius of Dewey will be competing in the team roping pairs competition at the International Finals Rodeo next month. The IFR, IFR marks its 25th anniversary December 15th through the 18th at the Myriad in Oklahoma City. Bokius will partner with Ken Bailey of Oak Mulgee in that competition. Bartlesville High Softball standout Christy Torsha will be playing in Kansas next year. Torsha signed a national letter of intent to play softball at Pittsburgh State University. She was named to the large division All-State team after leading the Bruins to the state semifinals this year. Pittsburgh State coach Brad Horky said Torsha was probably the best all-around outfielder he signed at Pittsburgh State. Horky said that she'll be ready for the collegiate level because of the type of program she comes from here in Bartlesville. Finally on the schedule, the Bartlesville High basketball teams are in Sepulpa tonight for their season openers. Dewey High teams are playing at Nowata tonight. Bartlesville Wesleyan College men's and women's teams are in Arkansas to face John Brown University tonight. And tomorrow, the Bartlesville High boys and girls swim teams will host Ponca City at the Adams Pool for a meet. That's our report for this evening. Again, we thank you for joining us tonight. Please stay tuned now for School Update with Superintendent Dr. John Scroggins next. For EE7 News, I'm Phil Evans. Good night.
Thank you. 